Hello everybody, this is Irving Cascade for Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. We are here today in the Saffron City Pokemon Center. We are going up to face off against the Gym Leader. And today, I am really bored. And so, I shall talk like this for a couple of moments. I have no idea why I want to. Maybe... I watched a little too much Star Trek. Captain's Log, Stardate 342. I don't know. Anyway, um, I've decided that I'm not going to, in order to speed up things, in order to get on to another LP, I'm going to, I'm not going to get all the Pokemon in this game. I will get, I will play it like, I usually play this game, and I've done it so far, I've done that more or less that way so far. The only thing that I can do now is um, take out the gym leaders, take out the Elite Four, and then there are a couple of Pokemon that I do always get whenever I play this, and I will get those on screen, and I'll show you how to get to them and everything, but that'll be it. Aside from that, this is just gonna be me playing through the game as normal. Anyway, we are here in front of the gym, and I'm going to stop monologuing about how I'm gonna do this and go on inside. This is the Saffron City Gym. The Saffron City Gym is the Psychic Gym. Psychic Pokemon are weak against Ghost Pokemon. However, I do not have any Ghost Pokemon with me because the only Ghost Pokemon that you can get in this game is also a Poison type. Which means that it is weak against, guess what, psychic types. Which sucks. How badly does it suck? Pretty bad. Anyway, if you were paying attention, you've noticed that there is a, um, a panel right here next to what's his nuts over there that you can talk to and he tells you a little bit about the gem. However, I haven't been talking to him, so I won't now. If you walk into it, you end up at a whole different teleporter with four, count them, four teleporters around you. You can't just walk out or do anything else. And you gotta remember which one you came from, which one you're going to, and all that good jazz. Because some of these will lead you closer to the gym later. Some of them will lead you to random other trainers. You can go through this whole thing, though, without running into a single trainer. And I've tried doing that. Like, my last recording of this, I tried to get to, um... I tried getting to Sabrina, who is the gym leader of this area. I tried doing that on screen and then going back to the very beginning and facing off against the trainers in order. However, I got lost. <laughs> And ended up, um, forced to, like, every time that I'd hit one of these and end up coming back to, like, more or less this one, I'd go into the wrong one, then go into the wrong one again, and then I'd go to the wrong one, and end up somehow popping back up next to Sabrina again. So popping up next to Sabrina is not a problem for me. But I digress, I'm gonna shut up and face off against these guys, because I've gotta show all of them on screen, as always. And I'm pretty sure with how this, um, how my recorder's going right now, you're probably gonna see a little bitty white bar on the far right side of the screen. Anyway, these guys are the Psychics. The Psychics are pretty good trainers, more or less. They use Psychic-type Pokemon, but their main Pokemon is Slowpoke. Slowpoke is a Water Psychic, if I'm not mistaken. Which means that it is weak against electric. So after Kumitora blows away this slowpoke, I'm going to switch over to Kumitora. Yes, I'm going to switch from Kumitora to Kumitora. That makes sense. No, I'm going to switch over to Sparks. Yep. I'm switching to Sparks. Slowpoke is a powerful psychic type. Not nearly as good as, um... 
as Kadabra. It's more or less a tank. It's one of the slowest Pokemon in the game. Its speed never gets really high, but it hits really hard. Slowbro is the exact same. It gets much stronger, its defense gets much higher, but, and that's a big but. That is definitely a big but. Holy crap, Slowbro. Um, it is still an extremely slow Pokemon. Which means that if you got a really fast Pokemon like Pikachu, you can blow it away really quick. Easy peasy, one, two, three. Slowbro is gone, the end of Psychic is gone too. Good. And that's the first one down. Now, I'm not quite sure which one I need to go into because I haven't done this in a while. Aside from me getting lost at last time, so I'm going to go into this one. And either way, it doesn't matter because I've got to show all of them anyway. But, yeah. This guy, if I'm not mistaken, this dude and or chick is a medium. Yep. Oh, Chandler. Sorry. Medium's different thing. Never mind. Shutting up. They have ghost type Pokemon. They have Ghastly. If I'm not mistaken, Haunter's also in here somewhere. Which, you know my thing about Ghastly and Haunter and them. I love playing as them. They are powerful Pokemon. But, I don't really like using them in my main party. I don't know why. In Pokemon Yellow, I don't like having them in my main party because... I have, um... I have my main Pokemon, which are, um... Pikachu. Um... Charizard. Blastoise. And Venusaur. Yeah, there's a Haunter here, too. And then I've got two, um two spare spots where I can change out between Pokemon depending on what I'm going to be facing off against. In this area I needed Kumatora, so I kept Kumatora in. When I go up against um, a, let's just say a fire gym leader or a water gym leader, I, will cha I might change out Kumatora for someone else. But I probably won't because I've got their weaknesses anyway. But I digress, this channeler goes down, and we're going to continue onwards. Now this is the first, the first two that I took down, we're on the corners. Now I'm on the top left, no I'm on the center left corner, oh, I'm sorry, I'm confused. Oh, so I look tough, huh? I look like a tough man. That means my Pokemon must look like tough men, too, even the females. The females look like men, and the men look like menly men, 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 men. That is a scary thought, oh my god. Anyway, Kumator, blow away that Haunter. Haunter? Don't get me wrong, Haunter is a very powerful ghost type, and actually it is my favorite ghost type. It's always been my favorite ghost type. But... That's a big butt. In the original series, Haunter wasn't really... He was underpowered compared to all the rest of them. Compared to all the rest of the Pokemon, the ghost types had the... The... The, the smaller end of the stick. I'll just say that. I don't even know how that saying goes. I don't remember. Power alone is enough. That is true. Strategy really helps when it comes down to Pokemon, but if you've got a Pokemon that is like 20 levels higher, like I've been going through all those areas, it really doesn't matter anymore. Um, Mr. Mime is a psychic type, as you all know. Most of them are in this area. It's only weakness, if I'm not mistaken, is ghost type, so if you have a ghost type. If I'm not mistaken, I, I, I've never actually checked to see if ghost type is strong against psychic. I think it is. Going off of memory it is, but I'm not quite sure. 
all this time I may have been saying ghost type is weak ghost type is strong against psychic type, but I may have been wrong. I'm not quite sure. I I'm pretty sure I'm right. Eh, I, I guess I need to check that out. Which I will eventually do. Anyway, this guy's next Pokemon is Kadabra. So I'm gonna bring out Trinade because Trinade has not had any action in this episode. So let's do that. Use fly. And actually Trinade's more or less um Trinade is more or less obsolete now too because of Charizard. You're probably wondering why I'm saying that. Well, I'll show you after this is all said and done. I may actually switch out Trinade with someone else. I may not use Trinade ever again. As sad as it may be. Or I may keep Trinade in for a while. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, I'm going to come back here to face off against this one. This is the top right-hand corner. Which means that we are almost there. This guy has a Kadabra. And I have a Kadabra. Which one's going to win? Um, I think mine will. Partially because mine is 11 levels higher than his. <laughs> uh, ju just 11. Just 11. Oh. Okay, you're gonna recover? Well, guess what, dude? I'm just gonna do it again. You're probably wondering, why aren't you using, um... Why aren't you using... Psybeam? Because your voices keep changing every time. Um... Psybeam isn't as strong as Psychic. Psychic is... I think it's the strongest Psychic attack in the game. I think the only one that may possibly be stronger is Psy Wave, but I... I don't know. I'm not quite sure. I don't think it is. I think that Psychic's the strongest. I may be wrong. I've been... I've never really worried too much about the Psychic-type Pokémon. My favorite Pokemon is the electric type. The electric and the poison. And a little bit of, um... The ice type. And I should have brought out... I should have brought out Sparks for this. But, oh well, I'm just gonna use Cybermoon and blow away Slowpoke. Now, the only problem about using Psychic is the fact that it has very limited TP. So you want to use it sparingly. Or semi-sparingly, at least. No. I'm gonna bring out Ragnarok for this next one. And she's Dick. Light screen, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it protects against special attacks. It doesn't stop special attacks, but it does weaken them. There's another one, which I'm not quite sure what that one is, that weakens um, normal attacks. Not special attacks, but the basic attacks. Anyway, Ragnarok levels up. I did not see what kind of Pokemon that was, so I'm just going to go out on a limb, bring out Frostbite. And I'm going to use Surf on Kadabra. It's still, it, it still baffles me how different the Game Boy Color version of Surf and the nowadays the modern Surf is. Surf back then was just water, like raindrops falling on his head, and then huge cannons shooting up from the ground below him. And now, there's just a wave that shoots across the screen. 